Hi, I am making an update video on the installation of the Metasploit World 3 vulnerable virtual machine as someone has committed changes that made the build of the machine impossible. I'm sure this will be solved in time, but since we're in a hurry, let's find a workaround for this issue. We revert back the repository to a point where the build worked. To do so, we have to download the repo with git and get back in time. The first thing you have to do is uh, to install, you have to install git for Windows. Some of these configuration steps are inconsequential for what we have to do, but do as I'm doing here. Okay, let's launch git. It's too small, let's change that. I've closed it, you can find it in the Windows program list of course. Click on the upper left icon on the window, options, text, select, get it size to 18 so we can actually read anything. Apply, okay, okay. Then let's clone the repository on the desktop. No, that's wrong. This is bash. The slashes are forward slashes. I removed the Metasploitable 3 folder I had from before. Okay, it's now empty. Then clone the repository on your machine. Type git clone and the repo path. Press enter and wait. It's going to take longer because it will download all the commits of the repository. That's why I use the dash dash depth one flag in the Metasploit course to save time basically. There's a file missing as you will see in a moment in the latest commit. By using the git command with log we can see the history of commits, the changes made to the repositories. But now it's not the time to study git. Let's go through the commits of the past two months so I can get back to a time where the build process worked. Copy the commit hash data January 28, then go back to the git bash console and type in git checkout followed by the hash. Where are we now? Let's try and install Metasploitable 3 again. You need to have of course Packer installed and it's got to be in the path environment variable as we've said. You need to have installed Vagrant and the Vagrant Reloaded plugin to successfully build the Metasploitable 3 machine of course. Let's bring up a PowerShell console, remember to execute it as an administrator. See the Windows 2008 R2 JSON file has popped back up. Let's build it with Packer. Be extra careful on typing the command correctly. Again, if any time in the build process it looks like it froze, don't kill the program. You can press enter on the keyboard if the messages in the console look like they're stuck to get more information on where you are in the installation process.
Packer gave us an error, don't worry, we'll pull it off anyway. Let's add the box to background. The fourth flag is needed in case you have a previous version of the Metasploitable 3 machine that didn't build correctly. This won't work either, but I'll make it work anyway. And then we finish provisioning the machine with Vagrant up. This time this command will work. Uh, with the last commit, Vagrant up was the actual problematic command. If we start VirtualBox and try to start the machine, it won't work. I found out that if you import the VMDK file that can be found in the users, your username and in the background.d directory, you can import Metasploitable 3 and make it work. The Win2K8 is the one we're interested uh, in. I'll delete this other one. I'll check if services have been configured correctly with Nmap. Yeah, everything should be fine. This is a quick workaround I've managed to pull off. It's an issue that came up in the second half of March 2018. This problem has been notified, uh, people working at Rapid7 have been notified and they're currently working on fixing it. In the meanwhile, you can refer to this video to install Metasploitable 3 and continue with the rest of the Metasploit course. Okay, good, finally. Took me two days to pull this off. Talk to you soon, bye.